Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Psychotic SQL Server installation with MS SQL database. If you watched my previous video last year, November, I recorded the one Psychotic SQL Server installation with MS SQL Express database. That should be enough for the lab environment. But if you want to go to pre-production environment, development environment, or production environment, you may need to use MS SQL database. So this video is going to be simple, just show you the whole process, which is mostly the same as before, except the MS SQL database connection part. Domain controller has been installed, 192.168.2.14, MS SQL database also been installed. Psychotic SQL Server, which we're going to install on IP 192.162.230. All the servers OS has been joined into the domain 51sec.local. Let's start it. This is my Psychotic Server. We are going to install Psychotic SQL Server on this OS. 2016 Windows OS 2016 and IP has been configured 192.16.2.230. I'm able to pin my local DC and also I'm able to connect to my SQL database. To start the installation, it's simple, just right click your installation file run as administrator in my november's video you should be able to see how to download secret server installation file and how to get your trial key so we're going to install secret server next this will be different this is going to ask you install sql server express on this server or we can connect to an existing SQL Server. In my previous video, we did this install SQL Server Express on this server. Now we're going to use in second option. Of course, there's some failed configuration for prerequisite. Let's fix that by clicking Fix Issues button. It may take 10 to 15 minutes to get all done. To make my video shorter, I'm just gonna skip this part and directly go to next step once they fix the issue. The video will be stopped recording here. The installing dependencies has been completed. It took me about uh, eight minutes. As you can see, they started the cleanup and then cleanup successful. So we can select closed. And they can verify those prerequisites again. For this HTTPS binding issue, we just need to reboot our server and the latest issue is going to be resolved by it. So we're going to close all installation and reboot the machine. Okay, system has come back. Start the installation again. No need to privilege manager. Next, connect to an existing SQL server. Next. Okay, all prerequisites has been met. We can do next step. Now we need to enter our server name. You can use host name, MSQL, or and then database name. You're gonna use SA and password. Okay. 
So that database specified wasn't found. So TSS database not found. So do you want to create this database? Of course. We're going to create this database and then do the next step. We're going to create a user. Next, we can skip this part since we haven't set up our email server. Now we do installation. It may take a while, so we gonna stop the video, and once it's finished, it, I will continue. Okay, secret server installed successfully, and it took about uh, six to seven minutes to complete the whole installation. Um, so we can lo look at the log files, but since everything looks fine to me. Can I just open it to take a look? We're gonna visit localhost secret server. After a couple of seconds waiting, then we finally get this page. Um, Remember, we have set up our admin account. So that we're going to use it to log in. So this is secret server new interface. By default, it's going to come into new interface, but you are able to switch to the classic UI as well. So the installation has been done successfully. We are able to log in. Um, in my next video, I'm going to continue to show you basic operation task and uh, administration task onboarding the accounts into Secret Server. Keep tuned. Please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel if you haven't. Thank you.